God bless you family. Thank you for tuning in. I did not have an opportunity to make a video yesterday, but here we are, Tuesday. Hope the day is going good. So two things and then two scriptures. I'll keep it short and sweet today. So starting, I just saw an infographic for marijuana is legalized. Is legal for more than half of Americans, so states. And looking at the graphic, you can see most states are green. There's legal, there's medical, and then there's illegal. And illegal is the least. So marijuana legal in most states. It's fascinating because when I was a kid in school, you know, you wouldn't imagine of hearing such a thing that weed is legal. Um, <laughs> You could do jail time and prison time for it, and now it's like, wow, amazing, illegal. Um, and, and what do I care? Um, I only think of in the book of Revelation, 1823. Check this out. See if you guys can track with me on this, what you make of it. In Revelation 1823, we hear it's mourning for Babylon. Um Many people have different views on what this Babylon is described in Revelation. Is it modern Babylon, um, which would be Iraq, like rebuilt? Um, is it New York City? Is it America? Is it uh, Rome? Uh, there's different takes on it. Whatever view you may have, Revelation 18.23, and the light of a candle, and it's talking about the demise of this um, Babylon is destroyed and stuff. And the light of a candle shall shine no more at all in thee, and the voice of the bridegroom and of the bride shall be heard no more at all in thee. For thy merchants were the great men of the earth, for by thy sorceries were all nations deceived. Now in the Greek, which the New Testament was translated in, um, sorceries, in the Greek it is called pharmakia. This is sorceries, this is witchcraft. So, pharmacia, pharmaceuticals. Um, when I think of the, the scripture here that says, for by thy sorceries, by thy pharmacia, were all the nations deceived. It makes me think of things such as like marijuana. Um, you can do synthetic THC, an ingredient in marijuana. And you can put that in, uh, you can smoke it, you can put it in uh, vaping. Um, you can ingest this stuff, and it's legal. The government is saying this is fine to do because, you know, of whatever reasons. <clears throat> it makes me think, as we see that today, are they priming the pump for that tribulation time when many will have not just marijuana, but a little jabby-jab action in the arm, other things that people are ingesting, GMO, synthetic modified fake food and ingredients and preservatives and colorings and food they're spraying the skies almost daily in the water in the products we use in our body deodorant lotion shampoo everything right by thy sorceries were all nations deceived matthew 24 jesus said see that you're not deceived which will be massive during the time of the end before Jesus returns so marijuana legalized pushed it's cool it's fine you need it you got some arthritis some back pain you're a little anxious you have social anxiety um, I see this push as a potential setup for deception as people get more toxins and chemicals in their bodies and with technologies and frequencies that they have they could turn that stuff up, it could interact <clears throat> with what one has in their body, in their organs, in their cells, in their fatty tissue, in their brains. It could make people uh, be deceived, more apt to be deceived. So Revelation 18.23, very interesting. And then also I think of in the book of Revelation when the seals are, are being cracked. <clears throat> And this was it the second seal where the red horse is, unrele is released. 
All right, Revelation 6, and verse 3. And when he had opened the second seal, I heard the second beast say, Come and see. And there went out another horse that was red, and power was given to him that was on it to take peace from the earth, and that they should kill one another. And there was given him a great sword. So guys, if you look at the colors of the horses in Revelation, you have white, you have red, you have black, and you have uh, pale green. I think chloros in the Greek, where we get chlorophyll or chlorine, kind of that pale greenish color. You guys, you can't make this up. It's so fascinating. I saw, uh, you can Google this online, and the four horsemen of the apocalypse, and the flag colors of many Islamic nations happen to be the red, the white, the black, and the pale green. Green, for example, and specifically, and only these colors. Wow. Syria, Jordan, Libya, Sudan, Kuwait, United Arab Emirates, Iraq, uh, Saudi Arabia is all green and white, so missing a few colors there. Palestine, so-called Lebanon, ISIS is black and white. Um, I find that absolutely fascinating, especially in conjunction with that second horse where that great sword will be given, men will kill each other. We see the behavior of these terrorists who are of this radical Islamic persuasion. <clears throat> Could it be those who are of the similar demonic mentality are going to play a major role in these end times as seals are cracked and as um, you know, this great sword is unleashed and given? We think of America's porous southern border. We're infiltrated. We pray that we are removed by King Jesus before these agents who have entered this country are set off and just start killing, uh, doing holy war, jihad on this country, which we know they uh, are, who are of this persuasion, you know, they hold to it. That's a fine thing to do and it's a right thing to do to try to convert by force and death to uh, their worldview. So marijuana, pharmacia, witchcraft, sorcery, sorcery of Revelation 18.23, the great sword in tribulation, uh, these Islamic colors, it's quite a coincidence if you would call it that. I call it kind of a, a sign and an omen of things to come. Question also is, is it the gospel to just know that King Jesus came and that he was here on earth? Or is there, or is there something more to it? And I bring that up, I've recently heard in my uh, church service Sunday and then in a fellowship group I had last night, we spoke about the sermon talking about the book of Mark, chapter 1, verse 1. I'll just read the, the sentence. The beginning of the gospel of Jesus Christ, the Son of God. So when you think of the gospel, that's the good news. And in Mark 1, talking about the beginning of the gospel of Jesus Christ. And in the context, it goes on to talk about uh, the one crying out in the wilderness, John the Baptist preparing his way. So that is prefaced by saying, this is the beginning of of the good news about Jesus. So the answer I would say would be it's not just it's not just to know that Jesus came, he was here 2000 years ago. Anyone can probably believe that if they look at history and historians. <clears throat> but Mark 1:1 1, 1 tells us that that's the beginning. And it's very interesting when you think about it because to mentally assent and know that Jesus came is of course necessary, which must also make it down to the heart uh, by the Holy Spirit. Spiritual things are discerned by the Spirit. Uh, we can't understand these things and come to a true faith on Jesus unless the Holy Spirit is given unto us to understand these things. And then understanding comes. Faith comes by hearing, hearing by the Word of God. You draw near to the Lord, He'll draw near to you. The wisdom will be imparted, the eyes will be opened, like Saul to Paul on the road to Damascus, blinded, and then scales like uh, things fell off his eyes. Then he understood. That was my experience too in late 2015 as I started reading scripture, Matthew to Revelation, Matthew to Revelation. I read the New Testament twice in short order. 
it felt like I was taken to a mountain and scales off my eyes. And then all of a sudden I understood a lot of things. It started coming together. It wasn't like immediate, but uh, some things were rather quick and then other things took form. So the gospel, we must know that Jesus came and was here, but it's the beginning. And it's the beginning of a great journey too. It's fun, it's so great following Jesus. The cool things we learn, the growth you see in yourself, the ways you see that the Lord can use you to bless others as well. So guys, hope this video blessed you with a few uh, points here. Be cautious, be careful, just because something is legal and said to be okay, like marijuana, like drugs, like synthetic things you can take to alter your state of being. Uh, doesn't make them, make them safe or good for you. Uh, these Islamic colors of these flags of Syria, Jordan, Libya, Sudan, Kuwait, Iraq, Lebanon, so-called Palestine, the colors of the four horse of um, the apocalypse and revelation. You can read that in the book of Revelation. Very interesting. Um, let's keep these things on our radar and be aware of them. And also like Mark 1.1, 1, 1, we know that in the beginning, <clears throat> how does the scripture read again? The beginning of the gospel of Jesus Christ, the Son of God. So that beginning of the good news is, is learning that Jesus is and was and you know historically about him, but it's the beginning. It's a beautiful, wonderful, excellent, interesting, fun journey. So if you have any questions about Jesus, <clears throat> about the Bible, about Christianity, uh, definitely read some scripture so that you can draw near to that Holy Spirit. He can draw near to you. You can be given wisdom and understanding. You can start at the beginning. God will take you where you're at, but he loves you so much he won't leave you there. He'll grow you. He'll love you. He'll reflect his character and his goodness unto you. He'll make it understood where you'll be probably reduced to tears thinking like, I get it. There is God. It is Jesus. He did come. He did die for my sins. Uh, you'll be blown away by that love and your life will change. You'll have a different relationship with sin. And you'll be so glad that you've come to know Jesus, rather be known by him and saved from your sins and saved from hellfire. Uh, Jesus is coming soon. Please know him today so that you can be saved and removed before uh, the last seven years of human history, the tribulation, the 70th week of Daniel, a time of Jacob's sorrow comes. So guys, on your way out, please hit the thumbs up on my video, subscribe, and share my video. Thank you for watching.